सो हाई गाइज वी आर बैक विद वन मोर वीडियो सॉरी दिस वीडियो इज़ कमिंग आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी विल ट्राई टू बी मोर रेगुलर इन द कमिंग फ्यूचर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल ट्राई टू आंसर सम एट टू टेन क्वेश्चन वॉट आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम दी क्वेरीज दैट यू गाइज हैव सेंट मी ऑब्वियसली आई कैनॉट टेक ऑल ऑफ दैम सो आई विल ट्राई टू आंसर दैम सम ऑफ दैम आर रिपीटेटिव क्वेश्चन बट आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दैम इन अ बेटर वे इन डिटेल दिस टाइम सो लाइक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम या so first question is from lakshay kumar he is asking that can one who is working in a public sector or a psu switch from a public sector to a private sector also is asking that if he is working in a non technical field in public sector so what is the scenario if he wants to switch from that to private sector so yeah lakshay coming to your question first thing is that yes in public sector based on my experience and the experience of the friends who are working there I've seen that most of them are not working in the technical field. Either some of them are in purchase department or supply interaction department, and the one who are in technical field, they are also kind of doing a managerial job. That okay, some failure is there, so they will ask some labor to go there and correct that failure. So that kind of job is there. But if you go to private sector, right now I'm talking from the mechanical point of view because I myself is from mechanical. But I hope this is the scenario with other branches also. so now if i talk from that point of view if you go to private sector most of us after doing our engineering in the initial starting days in private companies we are doing technical work like if some of them are in cfd some of them are in 1d simulations some of them are in structures some are releasing drawings i know like some of you are in currently third year or fourth year you may not be directly connecting to that but if you heard of so if you heard of softwares like ansys hypermesh matlab so all these are being used and we are currently basically working here and there about this but this is very narrow still there is a very broad way of different categories of the technical stuff that we are doing mechanical but yeah coming to this question from public to private definitely it's not easy until and unless you are working in the technical domain but if you want to switch for example from a sales guy in a public sector to a sales guy in a private sector then it can be okay but generally the vacancies for the starting guys it comes in the technical domain and it's not really easy but yes i have seen people from drdo isro and bark they have switched from public sector to private sector the reason i think is because in these three public sectors they were doing the technical job so for them it was easy but the one who are not doing it's definitely not that easy what you can do is whenever a vacancy comes you can go through the job description you can see that what is required then you can see does your experience in the public sector matches the one that is required in the job description of a private sector and from there you can come to know but definitely yes it won't be easy and definitely yes it should be 90% technical work will be there if you have not done this and then it's not easy for you to switch from public sector to a private sector second thing is many people have been asking that is english really important for gate and all so and do extra preparation is required so i would say no definitely not please don't waste your time on reading improve your english kind of books it's not at all required just stick to the gate syllabus stick to the technical subjects that are there and you will be easily able to clear gate examination now for example one question is there from jitendra he is asking that is full book is required to study or we can just study main topics see definitely as yes, many people have this question that uh, now sir uh, only this much time period is left and my gate is after 6 months or 7 months and it's not really feasible to go through all the book so what should i do see i would also not recommend to go through like each and everything of a book but i would say is the best strategy is first see your gate syllabus if in that gate syllabus the topic is there then you should study thoroughly but you can say there are kind of smart ways of study also if you have seen that in the previous 10 years 20 years how much percentage the topic carries if you see like thermodynamics fluid mechanics there are these are some subjects that are having high percentage you cannot miss many things in these topics so see first thing is you should not miss anything but the one who are having time crunch then what they can do is they can refer to the gate syllabus then from the gate syllabus 
go to the standard books study those topics and definitely solve the previous year gate questions that is really very important or solve the standard questions from the standard books like from pknr you can solve the solved examples you can leave the unsolved one but definitely you should solve the solved examples because i've seen sometimes those examples not exactly the values but the problem is kind of the same and you can just then directly solve it and also gate examinations are not that lengthy the questions are not that lengthy it's basically formula based or some small trick is there so it should be okay if you have done the solved examples uh how much time is required for preparation many people have been asking this so regarding the time i would say definitely yes it will vary from person to person someone can prepare in 3 4 months and someone can take a year so the best judge is definitely you yourself you can assess that what is your capability but i would say that if someone is really uh putting his hard work and is really uh, faithful to his studies then i think around 6 months of time frame is definitely sufficient you should not study from some other guys note or like directly from coaching notes i would prefer make your own notes and study from the standard books now thing comes that does coaching helps i will say it will help a bit but it's not a necessity you can prepare definitely prepare by yourself without any coaching uh, i never took a coaching yes you can join test series so that you can get a idea of the time crunch and all so and you get prepare for the exam scenario in the exam hall so that is there but definitely coaching is not necessity it can help you improve some rank if you are really a good hard working person um after that uh, there is question of yeah how is the work experience of mechanical in private companies okay so i will share my experience so i have worked in companies like um, ge general electric so many people have been asking that what psu ge is so basically ge is not a psu it is a private company i have been working in private company only then uh, i have worked in rolls royce power systems and general motors so the kind of work we guys are doing uh, if you can relate to because maybe some of the, some of the viewers are in third year or fourth year they may not be able to directly relate it but maybe for future it is helpful so basically ha huh, first thing i will make to clear by thinking a mechanical guy working in a company many people think that we will be going with hathoda and like we will be pulling something or pushing something or that kind of stuff like mechanical stuff we will doing no we will also be working in a cabin in ac rooms on the computer on the desktop only thing is our software will be mechanical software for example i will just give want to give example if you have heard software like ansys hypermesh star ccm gt suit msm so these are kind of some of the softwares that we matlab simulink so like these kind of some softwares where we are working now some of them are working on the structural side like for example some beam is there you want to know what is the stress then you can use the structural side or, or for example some pipe is there you want to know what is the pressure what is the flow then you can use the hydraulic side so some are on the hydraulics some are on the structural side some are on the cfd side for example some aeroplane wings are there you want to see how the flow is over the aerofoil and all that stuff so some people work on that then some are actually basically product owners they are responsible for their products like designing of the product releasing the drawings of the product interacting with the suppliers going for testing so like this is a very vague idea i am giving you that this kind of work we do but definitely we are not someone with a hatoda and uh, putting some nail into a wall no so we are also basically working with a laptop uh second thing is is it too demanding the private job is too demanding no i would say no because many people i have seen that their only criteria to go to public sector is they think that no yaar private job is too demanding it is too much of work work pressure is very high and the benefits are very less work life balance is gone no i would say no i have seen my friends who are in public sector now they they want to switch to public they want to switch from public to private sector because their work life balance is not good so see you you have to work that is there that you you should not and also you should not just simply sit and you should not enjoy life at this very early stage 8 8 hours of work and in 8 hours like it's not exactly that you have been working for 8 hours every day it's like you have lunch also then you have snacks also and then you work also so that that is a kind of a basic idea that everyone goes to office whether it's mechanical or cs or anyone so basically 8 hours job is there and uh, sometimes it get hectic but sometimes very relaxed also 
and also private companies are giving very good benefits like saturday sundays off in most of the private private companies apart from that uh they are giving perks benefits health insurance medical insurance also like family days and culture programs so all these is happening so the scenario should not be there or presumption should not be there in your mind that no private sector is definitely no no because of the work pressure because of the work culture i would say work culture is better in public private sector compared to public sector now it's up to you what you want to pursue and i'm not actually criticizing public sector also public sector also has advantages like one is job security uh, but i won't see is a very major point because in private sector also you can private sector gives you flexibility that you can switch from here to there based on your priorities if you want to change the city if you want to change the work then it's very easy in public sector that is not that easy you cannot switch that easily okay so you have to then stay there also the locations of public sector are not that dynamic like they are basically not in the main cities the public sectors so that is there then uh, coaching of self study yeah so that's this is this i have already answered now how to apply for private companies uh, okay so for pub- public sector as you know that gate is the one that is uh, required to get into public sectors but for private companies you can go to individual websites from there you can go to their career section and you can apply based on the job description that suits you or you can make a profile on nokri or linkedin so from there the hr recruiters or third party recruiters can contact you so these are some of the platforms from where you can apply and the process is basically some like a very vague process it can vary from company to company but it's kind of a telephonic interview some 30 minutes then technical interview face to face for one hour then basically followed by a hr round or some executive round that is there so this is some a uh, basic idea of how the process happens so yeah guys these were some of the questions that i wanted to answer because because i cannot take all of them in one shot but definitely i will try to answer more in the coming videos in the coming videos uh, we will try to be more regular uh, me neeraj and amit uh, we want to make more videos uh, where we can help more of students see our basic aim is just to share experience and also i would like to uh like i would like to share this thing that if anyone knows any topper from any branch or from any examination and he wants to share his experience through our platform then he's also most welcome he can uh, ping us on our facebook page or our youtube page or he can email us also at contribute with mad at the gmail.com i will put the link in the description below so yeah guys uh that's all from my side for today keep watching subscribe to our channel share it with your friends who are in college currently and also please press the bell icon because otherwise you won't get the notification so yeah that's it for today um, thank you and have a good future